my name is Kays and welcome to another Right Brain tutorial. So in this tutorial I thought I would show you guys some of my favorite shortcuts. Now Houdini's got tons and tons and tons of shortcuts but these are shortcuts that I personally use all the time. I'm gonna start with a handful of shortcuts that I think everybody really needs to know. Okay so those are kind of like must learn type of shortcuts in my opinion. Those are very very critical to the usage of Houdini. And then in the second part I'm going to show you guys some shortcuts that I personally use a lot that you know you might want to learn but I suppose they're not as critical as the first part. So on that note let's dive into Houdini. Alright so here we are in Houdini and the very first shortcut that I want to show you guys is perhaps the most basic of them all and that is the tab key. This is how you bring up the list of nodes that are available for you to instantiate in your project. Now you can also get to this menu by hitting the right button on your mouse but I find tab to be a lot faster and easier. Now one of the things that I do want to mention about Houdini is that shortcuts can work differently depending on where your mouse pointer is on your Houdini window. Right now my mouse pointer is in my network panel and if I hit tab and say I type box and click on my mouse, now I have a box that was created exactly at the very center of my project, okay? So this box exists at 000, which is the origin point of my grid. However, let's get rid of this box right now and I'm gonna do the same thing while my mouse is somewhere in my viewport. So I'm gonna hit tab, type box, and now instead of automatically generating a box at the origin point, it's giving me an option to place a box somewhere on my scene, but not necessarily at the origin point and wherever I can kind of like click on the mouse, that's where it places my box. So keep in mind that shortcuts tend to be contextual on where your mouse pointer is at any given time. Okay, so these next two shortcuts work within the network panel. So how many times has this happened to you that you maybe open like an old Houdini project and you go and look in your network and you can't really find anything. I mean, you know that there's nodes inside your project, you just don't know where they are. Well, it's really simple to just hit H to bring all your nodes within view of your network. So this is really, really handy. So hitting the H key on your keyboard will automatically home in all of the network nodes in your network. Now, as you might notice, this is kind of like a really messy kind of, you know, there's nodes all over the place, okay? Whoever created this uh, particular project was not like the most neat type of person out there. So if you want to quickly organize your nodes and just kind of put them up into like some sort of grid so that they look a little neater, then you would hit the L key, okay? So the L key will automatically organize your nodes into nice little grids and this works both at the object level or at the geometry level or really any other level where you have nodes in Houdini. Okay, I use this next shortcut all the time. Tell me how often does this happen to you? So let's say that you bring in an FBX or an OBJ file, maybe you like purchased some cool model online and you bring it into Houdini and then all of a sudden you're looking around your viewport and you're like, where the hell is it? I mean, you know that it must be somewhere in your scene, but for some reason it's not appearing and you're not really quite sure. Are you zoomed in uh, too much? Are you zoomed out? I mean, what the hell is going on? Well, with the object selected and while your mouse pointer is somewhere on the viewport, simply hit the key H to bring your object into the center view of your viewport. Uh, alternatively, you can also hit G and it will do much of the same thing. So now note that in some cases, when you're using shortcuts in the Houdini viewport, you are required to hit the space bar as well. So in this particular case, space bar G or space bar H will also do the same thing. But just keep that in mind in case that G and H don't work by themselves. Hit the space bar along with G and H and it should bring your model into view in your viewport. Okay, so this next shortcut works within the network panel. So uh, sometimes you might want to disconnect a node from your node tree and one of the easiest things to do is to grab the node with your mouse and start shaking it violently until it pops off from your network. Now this works pretty well provided that you have a mouse with like a large enough like kind of desk that you can kind of start moving your mouse left and right. But like, you know, maybe you don't have a whole lot of desk space or maybe your mouse is not the most responsive thing or maybe you're using like a touch surface and sometimes it can just be like a really, really frustrating thing to do until it finally pops off. So uh, what I use all the time to disconnect nodes is actually hitting the Y 
key on my keyboard and when I hit the Y, you'll see that my cursor becomes a scissor and now I can simply left click and drag across my node connections and sever all of my node connections very, very easily and I like doing this all the time and there's also some satisfying kind of element about like kind of dragging that mouse across that connection and cutting it off. Okay, this next shortcut works when our mouse pointer is somewhere over the viewport and the shortcut is D and D basically brings up all sorts of options for our viewport that can come in really, really handy. Say for instance, uh, uh, we don't like this light background and we want to change it to a darker background so we can see our cloud a little bit better. You would go in the background tab and switch light to dark and all of a sudden we can see our cloud a lot better. Or maybe in this particular case, as I get close to my cloud, it starts disappearing. And nine times out of 10, that means that my near or far clip planes are set too high or too low. So in that particular case, I would go under the view tab and yes, the near plane is way too high. So let me set it to 0.1 and now I can get a lot closer to my geometry without disappearing. Uh, and of course, there's all sorts of different options that you can access from this particular panel. And I use this all the time. So D will bring this panel up and hitting D again will make it go away. I should also mention that if you hit D when your mouse pointer is somewhere over your network panel, you you will also get a set of options for your network this time. Now, this is not as extensive as for the viewport, but nonetheless, it allows some degree of customization for your network node trees. Okay, last but not least on my must know shortcuts, is P. And what does P do? Now, you might have noticed that my particular Houdini layout uh, is to have my viewport on one side and then the whole other half of my screen is devoted to my network. And I find personally this particular layout to be really, really handy when using Houdini because it gives me a good overview of what my network looks like, especially as it starts getting more and more complex, while at the same time giving me enough screen space so I can kind of have like a really nice view of how my geometry is arranged in the viewport. So hitting P while my mouse is somewhere in the network view uh, brings up the different parameters for each node. Now, a lot of people like to have uh, sometimes like a third panel on this side that is devoted strictly to parameters, but personally, I find that to be a little bit wasteful of screen space, and I prefer to just kind of hit P whenever I want to see what the parameters are for a specific node that I have highlighted. Okay, so now we're moving on to some shortcuts that are not as critical to everyday usage of Houdini, but are nice to know. And these come in really, really handy, and I wanted to share with you guys. So the first one works when your mouse pointer is somewhere over the network panel, and that is equal. And what equal does is it instantly brings up like a finder window where you can kind of navigate to find a file. And when you click open, you'll see that what it does, it creates a geometry node. And if we dive inside, it creates a file node for you. So this is really, really handy when you're working with outside geometry that you want to bring in and it just saves a lot of clicking by having to create first a geometry node and then a file node. Okay, so this next shortcut also works within our network panel. So let's say that I wanted to add another node to this file node, uh, maybe some normals, okay? So I would hit tab, I would type normal and uh, click here and now I have like this little node outline attached to my uh, mouse pointer and now I left click and uh, then I connect it here and then I put my view flag on it and off I go, right? Well, that is entirely too many clicks and too much time wasted just to instance a new node. So let's get rid of it and let's do it again and this time holding down shift. So I'm gonna hit tab, I'm gonna type normal Okay, but before I hit return or enter, I'm going to hold down shift and then hit return. And you'll see that what just happened is that the new node was created and it's automatically connected to our previous node and the view flag is automatically set on it. And we can do that uh, again. Let's say we want to add a UV texture. Once again, hold down shift, hit enter and off we go. Let's say we want to add a null, hit shift and enter. This saves so much time when you're creating your notes, you have no idea. Okay, so this next series of shortcuts works when your mouse pointer is somewhere over the viewport. And that is space one, space two, space three, space four, and space five. And I'll show you what they do. So right now we are in perspective viewport. So if I hit space and the number two, 
Now we're gonna go into the top view. Okay, if I hit space number three, now we're gonna go into the front view. If I hit space number four, now we're gonna go into the right view. And if I finally hit space and number five, now we're gonna see our UVs on our model. And if I wanna go back to the perspective view, I just hit space and one and I'm back to the perspective view. So this comes in really, really handy when you're looking to look at different sides of your model and it saves so much time, especially when you're trying to line up, uh, you know, different uh, pieces of geometry together. Okay, this next series of shortcut is also somewhat related and also works when your mouse pointer is somewhere over the viewport and that is command or for Windows users, control one, two, three, and four. And let me show you what this does. So right now, if I hit command one, it doesn't really do anything. However, if I hit command two, it splits the viewport into two, okay? And now, depending where my mouse is, I can actually kind of change the view, say like instead of the right, I want uh, like my UVs. So I would hit space and the number five, and now I have UVs while also having my uh, perspective view. Uh, if I hit command, three now i have like three uh splits of the viewport and if i hit command four now i have four and once again depending where your mouse is hovering you can kind of change the view by hitting space and whatever number uh that you might want to use for uh you know for that particular view on that quadrant so in this particular case let's go with like the right view okay so this next shortcut comes in handy whenever you have some pretty involved projects that have a lot of nodes and you're basically kind of having to like navigate left and right and you want to see what's going on if you zoom out now you can't really read what the nodes are and if you zoom in now you can only see so many of them at once so while your mouse is somewhere in the network view if you hit O now you have an entire overview of your entire network and uh, I don't know if you can see it very clearly in YouTube, but there's a very, very uh, slight kind of reddish uh, uh, rectangle outline that represents your screen right here that you can grab with your mouse and kind of guide wherever you want to see. So if you want to have uh, a really good idea of like, okay, you know, what are these file nodes right here? What is this file node over here? And so on and so forth. This allows you to easily navigate between very extensive networks in Houdini. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna have to move my uh, little uh, camera here. I'm just gonna put it off to the side. So sometimes you wanna color your nodes because uh, color coding stuff can come in really handy. So maybe uh, these nulls, I want to color code them green and I can kind of highlight them and I can go over here and pull up this uh, color panel and just kind of hit green or what I can also do is just hit the C key and C brings up this color panel that then I can kind of color my various nodes so that I can kind of be a little bit more organized as I'm looking at my network. And finally, here's a shortcut that is an incredible time saver, which unfortunately I don't use nearly as much as I should. So uh, let's say that for instance, I'm working on this model right here and I wanna be operating somewhere around here, okay? So I can set a quick mark for where I am right now in my network by uh, simply pressing Command or for you Windows guys, Control, and numbers one through five, okay? So uh, for this one, I'm gonna set like uh, uh, quick mark command one. Okay, I'm gonna use one. So let's say then uh, that I wanna go into, I don't know, like my uh, material, because maybe I'm working also on a material simultaneously and I'm going back and forth. So now I wanna see like this particular network right here. So I'm gonna set another quick mark. I'm gonna do like command and the number two. And last but not least, maybe I wanna check my render settings right here and I wanna have this handy uh, for whenever I'm kind of adjusting like my different samples. So I'm gonna have command and number three, okay? So now whenever I hit the number one, button, I'm going to be sent back right to where I set my first quick mark. If I hit the number two, I'm going to go into my materials. If I hit number three, I'm going to be in my out context. This is really, really handy. And as I said, an incredible time saver in Houdini, where you frequently have to jump out of a network into another one. Unfortunately, Houdini only gives you five quick marks, okay? So you only have numbers one, two, three, four, and five. But nonetheless, do make use of the quick marks because in my opinion, it's one of the handiest features of Houdini. 
All right, those are all the shortcuts I'm gonna cover for this video. There's obviously a ton more in Houdini and I'm gonna post some links down below that will show you like a bunch of other shortcuts that you can then incorporate into your workflow. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like if you liked the video and I'll see you next time.